Number seven, given f of x equal to negative x squared minus six x plus five with a domain of negative five, negative three, negative one, zero, and one, what is the range r? So our range is gonna be the answers to those domain problems. So I'm gonna write down negative x squared minus six x plus five, and then I'm gonna replace x with negative five, negative three, we need to get one, two, three, four, five answers, don't we? So we're gonna have negative and we're going to plug in negative 5 squared minus 6 times negative 5 plus 5. And then I'm going to type in negative parentheses and I'm going to put negative 3 in. Minus 6 parentheses negative 3 plus 5. And then I'm going to plug in negative parentheses negative 1 squared minus 6 parentheses negative 1 plus 5. And then I'm going to plug in 0 minus six parentheses zero plus five. And then lastly, I'm gonna plug in a one, negative one squared minus six parentheses one plus five. So I need to get all these answers. So my first answer, negative five times negative five would be 25, but it would be a negative 25. Negative six times negative five would be a positive 30 and then plus five more, that's gonna be 10. So that answer is 10. Right down here, negative 3 squared is 9, but it will be negative. And negative 6 times a negative 3 is a positive 18 plus 5. If you have a calculator, please type this in. And then negative 9 plus 18 is 9, and 9 plus 5 is 14. Then we're going to go to the 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. It's going to be a negative 1 because of that negative. Negative 6 times negative 1 is a positive 6 plus 5. And 11 minus 1 is 10. So I have two range values repeating, don't I? And then lastly, the zero would be equal to the five, would it? And then lastly, my one, this would be negative one minus six plus five, and that would be equal to negative seven plus five would be a negative two. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in order from smallest to largest. This would be my first number. My second smallest number would be five. 10 repeats twice, so I only write down one of them. That would be my third number. And then lastly, my fourth number would be 14, wouldn't it? Okay, so my smallest number would be negative two, comma. The next range would be five, comma. The 10, we only write it down once, comma. And then the 14. So those are my range values.